hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is bun i just want to start off this video by saying thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers i believe right now as i'm recording this i'm almost at 3,000. but like once again thank you guys so much like the fact that so many of you guys are just really enjoying this lp and enjoying what i'm putting out like it truly does mean the world to me and i definitely see a lot of you guys saying like oh there's a new black simmer on youtube and honestly warms my heart that so many of you guys are happy to see the black simmer um on youtube but like i said guys thank you guys so much for 2000 subscribers and i love you guys so much now i know it's been a little minute since you guys last seen me but i went through so many trials and tribulations with this episode y'all like i went through it but i have prevailed you know through save file corruptions through game crashes and everything we are finally officially here recording this episode but i don't want to over talk this at all so we're going to jump right into the wedding i'm going to give you guys a tour of the venue i'm going to introduce you guys to um aubrey's grandparents and isaiah's parents and then we are going to jump right into the wedding i already have everybody sitting down and isaiah is like literally about to walk down the aisle all right guys so this is the wedding venue we have a bar right here with the bartender as you guys can see i've got a quite a few sims i'm controlling right now as i said they were not listening and i had to drop down a bartender and um a musicianist into my game because the ones that i was hiring were not showing up anyways right across from the bar you also have the dance floor you have some um some foods out here i think i just put like dinner desserts and um appetizers yeah i did that and then i have this little fruit punch bowl we also have some champagne and i'm meant to hire a chef but once again y'all the sims weren't listening right across from the dance floor we also have this beautiful 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 dining area that i put my heart and soul into uh isaiah and aubrey are supposed to sit here so hopefully they will sit right here again then down over into here we also have the piano for the pianist for the pianist is that how you say it pianist whatever for uh miss courtney here to come over here and play piano and then well, obviously we have um harley who's supposed to be our bartender i don't really know their names for real but i also want to show you guys like this little pin board or whatever you want to call it i this is me being totally delusional but like i kind of imagine like Ari and isaiah would be like what if we put something really cheesy like we put all these notes about all the milestones that we had in our relationship you know he'd be like you know we met in windenburg and we had our long distance relationship then you moved out to send my shoe no and just like they're from like y'all i don't know i think i just feel like that would be so cute okay guys so as i said they are currently all all the guests are currently sitting out here ready to go but i'm gonna introduce you guys to basically the most important family members this is arthur jackson this is aubrey's grandfather he currently lives in Burlington bay where aubrey was raised and he is a plumber this is lorna jackson and as you can tell she looks pretty similar to Aubrey. she is the wife to arthur jackson and she was a school teacher but she recently retired she decided she just wanted to relax more at home you know she was like mm, i'm getting kind of old i think it's best i kind of like you know relax and you know re collect my retirement i guess this is Shanice Jackson. This is Arthur and Lorna's second daughter. She is Aubrey's mother's sister. And just before I forget, quick backstory on why Aubrey was raised by her grandparents. It's because her parents died. Terrell Jackson. This is Shanice Jackson's husband. And yeah, that's it about him. This is India Jackson. She is currently a teen and she is the daughter of Shanice and Harold. And here we have Cordell Jackson. This is the son of Shanice and Harold. Then we have Carla Jackson. This is Aubrey's cousin. I believe if I wanted to say who she was related to, I would want to say she is Lorna's sister's daughter i would say that's how she's related to all of them lastly we have london miller this is carla's daughter and i almost completely forgot to show y'all the actual wedding ceremony area so this is the area it's basically on a little rooftop it looks so beautiful especially at night look at look at that he already walked it down but yeah y'all it's nothing too fancy isaiah is now walking down the aisle look at him he looks so goofy 
He's now walking down the aisle, so we're gonna watch him walk down the aisle. Okay, guys, we are now sending Ari down the aisle. This is the official look at her wedding dress. It looks so gorgeous, but it's the close-up. I know the lighting sucks right here, but, like, she is so gorgeous. She is such a beautiful bride. Like, I've been trying so hard to, like, just keep her under wraps with, her, like, her wedding dress and everything, but she is such, such a gorgeous bride, y'all. But, yeah, y'all, she is now going down the aisle. <laughs> Look at her! Oh, sweet! Y'all, look how gorgeous she looks! Look how beautiful she looks! And we got all our family right here. Stop! Okay, so I'm gonna have them exchange their vows. Let me do... No, let's do... Kiss. Girl, you finna piss me off. Okay, guys, they are now about to exchange their vows. <laughs> They're so cute. I want to know what he's saying. He's probably saying something real romantic. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at them. Y'all, hurry up. Somebody, get, somebody else walk up. Come on, y'all. Come on. Okay. Y'all, they're now exchanging their rings. Stop. It's everybody crying in the background. Like, stop. Look at her. She's like, yeah. Girl, you looking up to the side. She thanking me. She thanking me. That's what she's doing. She's looking up. <gasps> Not them bumping. Look at him. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay. I want them to do a spousal kiss. And then I'm going to have them walk down the aisle. Oh my god! Oh my god, I didn't think he was going to dip kiss her. They are so cute. Oh, okay, not this again. Come on, walk down the aisle. They're so cute. No, I want you to... Not them all talking. Can you come down and ask me her? Come on now. Look at my look at their face. They look so goofy, bro. They look so goofy. They're so cute. Okay, I see people want to get up. It's okay. I'm now gonna have Rashad. I mean, I'm gonna have Isaiah request a toast from Rashad. And I'm gonna do ceremony activities, gather for toast. Also, I went ahead and changed Aubrey out of her wedding dress into this gown. I think she looks absolutely gorgeous. And the dress is by Sifix, y'all. And her wedding dress is by Sente. And I'll link both of these in the description um, of this video. But yeah, we're gonna have them come do a toast. y'all <laughs> i completely forgot to introduce y'all to rashad and kiara so this is kiara brown if you follow me over from tiktok then you already know who mama kiara is like she is mother she is an icon she carried my tiktok on her back y'all she she did what she had to do but this is kiara her and rashad are actually going to get their own episodes in this series so we're, again like i said prior we're not going to go into depth Okay, Nia, you are eating with this look right now, but we're not talking about you. But they're going to get their own episodes in the future, so I'm not going to go into depth about their careers and their traits and everything like that. Because if I had to tell the entire story of Kiara and Rashad, y'all, we would be here forever. This old man is Rashad Brown. He is the husband of Kiara Brown and the father to all of our Brown siblings. Y'all, 
he is such a sweet he is such a sweetheart i cannot wait to y'all see how he like interacts with his family especially with kiara like rashad is such a sweetheart he really does love his family like he is just one of those wholesome sweet old men like that you just want to give the world to like that is literally rashad all right y'all so we're gonna have them do a toast what is he holding oh it must be the umbrella did he just disappear okay so it looks like rashad should be doing he should be giving a toast looks like everybody already didn't grab himself some food too it's okay they were hungry i can forgive it oh my god not them flirting how about you give us our toast, Dad, and stop flirting? Like, no. You can do that later. You can flirt on your own time. This is my wedding. I'm gonna have to fix my sweet <laughs> man. I love this. I just love seeing all the people. This just warms my heart for real, y'all. What's this clay that everybody can have? And what's this tablet? They are so loud. Cheers. Let me turn up the music. Oh, it's right here. So we are going to change station to. <laughs> all right guys so when i was play testing this for some reason i couldn't get them to do their first dance so it's just not gonna happen but what we are gonna do is we are going to have them everybody just kind of dance on the dance floor and then afterwards we're gonna cut the cake <laughs> okay so everybody should start dancing where's aubrey at let's have isaiah Look at Aubrey, she's already dancing. Have Isaiah come over here. Well, oh, he's already there. I want him to do a kiss and grind. Let's do a sensual grind. I kind of want to do a sensual. Look at them all dancing. Okay, Kiara. Okay, Kiara. Get it. I swear my sins be having a footwork. I want him to do a sensual grind with her. Come on. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay, look at them. They are so cute together. Oh my god. Okay, this is a party. <laughs> I like how she gets into dancing. Okay, so I want to have Rashad. <clears throat> I keep calling him Rashad because he looks just like his damn daddy. But I want to have Isaiah come talk to his dad. Can we tell him? I kind of want to say thank you for coming. I know there's an option, but I don't know where to say it, y'all. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Oh, I think like he's talking to his brother too. You sure? Look at Arvin, she looks so good. I'm glad they started raining after they got back, they got back inside. Come on, let's talk to her dad. Oh, he's gonna sit next to the random girl. Okay. Let me check. Her. Let me check her buffs. Let me see. Wedding kiss from the wedding kiss, a single kiss to mark the start of a wonderful marriage. Just married, the promise of a lifetime of companionship would make any sim happy. With this ring, just as a circle has no end, this ring symbolizes that our love will last forever. <gasps> oh my god, they're so cute! They're so cute. Those vows, my heart everywhere was perfect. I told y'all he was saying something so, so, like, I told y'all he was saying something so cute. Okay, let's check as it is.
He's got a lot. Oh my god. Among friends, Isaiah is in his element, surrounded by people who love him. That's because he has a people person lifestyle. And then I think these are the same ones. Share joy, surrounded by friends. Talk of the toast, being showered with compliments and attention makes any momentous day even better. <laughs> of course he likes the freaking attention. Um, with this ring, okay, yeah. I swear those vows are my promise to always be true to you. Somebody commented once, they were like, Isaiah seems sneaky. And I'm like, trust me, Isaiah's the least sneaky one out of this entire LP. Like, he's he's the least one we have to worry about. And then it says, yeah, it's got the wedding kiss. Okay, so his are pretty much the same. Oh, but I want to have... Chad Strasa, Who's her grandmother at? Let's talk to her grandma. Okay, looks like she's actually about to sit down. And Bobby Frenoy. Um, who should we talk to, y'all? Who should we talk to? Let's talk to Josiah. If you know, if you follow me on Twitter, then you know you know. Let's thank him uh, for coming. Let's do small talk. Can we thank him? Oh, can we not thank him? I swore we could thank him. Where is it at, y'all? Okay, well, let's do... Let's just give him a hug. Is it? Oh, we can't even hug him. Let me just... No, it's okay. We're gonna do friendly... Affection. No, we're not gonna give him a gift. I'm not gonna compliment him. Definitely not that. Let's gush about our brother to him. <laughs> Let's gush. What's he saying? What's he Okay, she's supposed to come gush, but everybody keeps sitting down and over here. It's almost time to cut the cake too. How are they talking from way over there? <laughs> Who's farting? Oh, okay. I thought it was Josiah. I was literally about to shit myself. And she literally has an attractive buff for him. Let's do. Let's do compliment. It's compliment his outfit. You're like, yeah, you look nice. Warm up. Foma. Okay, so okay, so these two keep flirting. Okay, so I see they acting. They got some courage. <laughs> they are flirting bad with each other. All right, y'all. <laughs> I think it's now time to cut the cake because it is 7.30, so let me go ahead and set that up. All right, guys, we're going to have them cut the cake. <laughs> they are so cute. Look at his face. It was a little anticlimactic, but it's okay. Everybody get cake. <laughs> I kind of want him, I want her to feed the cake to him, actually. Let's see if we get him to feed them to feed the cake to each other. All right, y'all. <laughs> They're so cute. That's so annoying. Oh, Looks like everybody's <laughs> eating cake. Let's have her talk to Imani. Oh. Let's have her talk. Is he going to sit next to his sister? He <laughs> is. Let's do stories. Let's reminisce. I feel like for this, I would kind of imagine that Imani and her would be talking about <laughs> wedding stories <laughs> and, you know, all the crazy <laughs> stuff that happened and everything that went down. Are they going to talk? Is there is anybody gonna talk? Gabby is so laggy right now. Oh, she's talking to her way over here. Look at them. 
okay, Gramps. Gramps is getting him some, some to drink. Look at them talking. Why are they talking about peeing their pants? Look at Taco Me in the back. Desert, we ain't forgot about what you did last episode. We have not forgot. So technically, we need to have somebody do a speech. <laughs> Who's he talking to? His mom? Where's she? Oh, she's right here. Okay. I wonder if we can give our mom a hug. Let's give her a nice little hug. Her loving So, y'all. So all right, y'all. So the tea about Josiah is he's actually really attracted to Aubrey. And I'm actually surprised because this is the first time out of the like three, four times that I've had to like to play this wedding that he has not gotten like a, he has not basically given us the notification that he's really attracted to Aubrey and sending us basically that he wants to make romantic advances towards her. But I'm actually shocked that that didn't happen like this time, which honestly I'm a little happy about because <laughs> That was hella trifling of him to even even have those thoughts in his head. But I feel like at some point, it's still going to happen. And if it does, we're definitely going to have to talk about it. We're going to have to unpack that. And we have to figure out what the hell is going on. And as you guys saw, Aubrey thinks he's attractive, like really attractive. But she also thinks Rashad is really attractive. That's that's a whole lot of whole lot of. But yeah, y'all, that was, that's T on Josiah and Aubrey. Boy, I think I just saw... Rashad try to take pictures. It's getting kind of late. I want. Where's Aubrey? Did she get her drink? Oh, she's talking to her too nice. Oh, she's saying goodbye to Bryce. Okay, people are getting ready to leave. So I kind of want to give some of our family members a hug and just affection. Oh, she's giving them all hugs, y'all. I want to give everybody a hug before we get ready to end the event. Just kind of like say thank you for coming. He's still talking to his mom. Let him be feeling playful. He wants to be friendly with his dad. That's sweet. I think we already gave her a hug. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to just talk to our sister, actually. I think what we'll have, we'll just have them come over and just joke about family. Like, okay, Cordell, do your thing. Do your big one. Oh, Neil and Nia got a sentiment with each other. They're so cute. I need our bartender to get back up on the bar. I think it's because I was controlling all those sims. My game was lagging like that, y'all. He said, Nia, say Not the food spoiling. Actually, go close the buffet before people get sick. Okay, we're gonna say goodbye to every oh okay yeah the wedding the event just ended y'all so we're saying goodbye to everybody. I kinda want her to say goodbye to her grandpa. Oh no, her thing's full. Okay. Let me unlock the doors. Y'all can leave. Oh look at them in the background. They are so cute. Can we give him a hug? Let's hug him. Let's hug, let's hug Arthur. Oh, she's going to the bathroom. I was going to have them interact, but it's okay. Okay, what's Arthur doing? I should say bye to you. She has to use the bathroom, too. Okay. Go use the bathroom. <laughs> she can't use the bathroom? Oh, Kiara's using that one. Okay, use that one. Okay, not her being drunk. Girl, you barely had anything. Why is he angry? Can we calm him down? Why is he so angry? Friendly. Deep thoughts? Who's oh, apology? Why do you need to apologize? What did you say to this man, Isaiah? This man is pissed. You gonna do what to my granddaughter later tonight? See? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. 
Ah, why is she? What is going on? Why did she get that that little thought bubble with Carla? All right, yeah. I'm pretty sure I told him to come clean this up. Come close the buffet. You ain't gotta. You ain't gotta tend to the bar no more. Okay, so everybody's leaving. Before we go, I do want Aubrey to interact with Kiara, but it looks like we can't do much just because I think Kiara, yeah, Kiara's leaving, so we can't do anything with her. Oh, okay. Okay, so while everybody's leaving, I'm gonna have Isaiah and Aubrey come out here and have like one final moment together. I'm gonna have him basically, let's do affection, express his devotion to her. Like, I'm gonna spend oh, the rest of my life loving you. you. Oh my god. Not good night. And then I'm gonna have him embrace her. <laughs> she is so flirty right now. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use the intimate kiss mod. Oh, they are so cute. Oh my gosh. I don't even care that they're about to clip right now. I don't even care. They're so cute. I should probably screenshot this, but like. Oh, okay. Okay. You gonna get that later. <laughs> oh, see what I tell you. What I tell you. Oh, here's the pee. Okay, I'm gonna see you guys back at the condo. Okay, guys, we are now back at the condo. Y'all already know what's going down. Aubrey has her little, look, she said, <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling myself. She's got her little woohoo outfit on. Oh, oh, like I said, he like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why well, I feel like, why well, I feel like Isaiah's just like, whoa. So we're gonna have him come over here and just, you know, be like, oh, like, is that all for me? And let's do something really, really sweet. Let's do, um, romantic. Let's tell her. No, I think I'm falling in love with you. Let's, no. Let's do pickup lines. Ooh, pickup lines. Okay, these are so cheesy. If you're a vegetable, you're pretty. No, <laughs> they're all so cheesy. Hold on, you light up the room. <laughs> Y'all, you're, irres you're irresistible. Let's do that one. Let's tell her that she's irresistible. A little bit quick. Yeah, he like, you look good as hell right now. Oh. You're a person of few words, but you sure do make them count. Girl, what you mean by that? Oh, yeah. Look, we're not even about to waste no time. Huh? We're not even about to waste no time. <laughs> yes. Let's let's get in there. Let's woohoo. Let's get in there. Let's woohoo. Oh, not them kissing. I didn't think they were going to do that on their own. Let's woohoo. Come on, y'all. We, we got to, you know, she got low fertility. We got to get this in as much as we can. Are they going to woohoo? Let me turn off the lights. Let me set the mood, y'all. Well, how are they doing that? Okay, maybe now. Okay, there we go. Let me set the mood, y'all. You know, it gotta be dark. Y'all, how are we always ending off this episode? Y'all, ain't this like the million times we done ended off with a woo? Or there's some type of woo, -woo. but y'all, we gotta make a baby, okay? We gotta try to see if we can get a baby. <laughs> okay, y'all know I'm front and center, front and center. Look at them, she is officially Aubrey Brown, y'all. Oh my god, <sighs> this Bella, get the hell out of here! You don't even need to be seeing this. Girl. <laughs> Ooh. I'm just being interested. 
Bella. I need her to leave, y'all. This is so weird. Reba Dwin. Snip stay far shoot. Look at this. Oh. Zarkini growl. Norbidae. Norbidae. Whispered into his ears. Snip stay far shoot. <laughs> no protection was used. I mean, I hope not. I'm trying to make a baby. I'm trying to get me a baby. Why is he embarrassed? Oh, uh, he's feeling embarrassed because he peed on himself that one time. Okay. Let me check their buffs one last time. Completely satisfied. Nothing is more satisfying than some nice woohoo. What she get? Did she like it too? Yeah, she liked it. She liked it. And she's also tipsy. Chatty, nothing loses up those social skills like a little booze. Aubrey is feeling very chatty. I bet she was, because she was very chatty with Josiah. Um, you're making me blush. Compliments can make can make you feel like you're on top of the world, but when they are particularly meaningful when they come from that special someone. Oh <laughs> hot and heavy, okay. They're both feeling themselves. All right, guys, they are now officially sleeping. I'm going to go ahead and skip into the morning because we are going to have Arby take a pregnancy test. I don't want to keep dragging this out. I just want to find out if she's pregnant or not. Like, <laughs> all this woohoo that y'all been doing, like, girl, you better be. But she also has low fertility, so I'm really not expecting much. But, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it is now 7 o'clock in the morning, almost 8. Arby's hungry. But she also, she can kind of pee. So we're going to go ahead and take this pregnancy test. I don't know why my fucking heart is beating out my chest, y'all. Yeah, so I realized I don't have streamers mode <laughs> in my game right now. So she's really naked and I don't want to get um, banned off this platform. So we're just going to have to like just hear from the outside. Oh my gosh, she's peeing. Y'all, why am I fucking nervous? I'm not the one taking a pregnancy test. Like, I'm so nervous. What's that mean? What's that mean? <gasps> I kind of peed when I heard her, like, go, like, whatever she said in Simlish. Y'all. I mean, good job, Isaiah. Good job, you know, because I was doubting y'all, too. I didn't know if it was going to happen anytime soon, but, like, he was putting in that walk. He must have been putting in that walk. Um, girl, right before your honeymoon, let me see the baby. Aubrey, where the fuck is the baby? She don't look pregnant. Oh. You, game, are you sure? Are you sure? And she's hung over. Not only did she just find out she's pregnant, but she's hung over. Aubrey, where is our baby? No. You just went to the bathroom. Go use it again. I don't think you gotta go again. I wanna know where our baby is at, y'all. Is Aubrey? Does she think she better than me? Or like, what? Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not a fucking hater at all, bro. Like, I'm not even feeling no type of way. Like, I just, like, whatever. Like, okay. Okay, flat tummy. Okay, skinny legend. Steve. All right, guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here. As you can see, we got a lot going on. There's a lot going on. In the next episode, they will be going to their honeymoon destination, which I, like I said, I am so excited about. And now we have something else that we need to address here because Aubrey's pregnant and now we gotta figure out how to tell Isaiah. I don't wanna rush and like tell him right away. I kinda want it to be like this big moment for her because like I said, like this is a big moment for her. This is a big deal for her. So that is also gonna be happening next episode. I hope I didn't over talk this episode. I hope I wasn't too chatty. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.